Chancellor Wynn is live for us at that scene. And Chancellor, what do you know right now? What we know is that this crash involved two separate vehicles. Both of them were smaller black sedans, so small four-door cars, and it happened right here at this intersection of Daly Road and West Galbraith. You can still see, it's tough to tell, but you can see quite a bit of glass from this car accident in these, this middle lane here, and you can actually hear the car's tires as they roll over the bits of glass. Going into summer break, mm -hmm. some are already on summer break, your feelings about the timing of this. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. School just got out last week. This, we're not going to tolerate this all summer, folks. We just are not. I still can't wrap my mind around why someone would do this. Prosecutors say James killed Barry because James's brother had a dream Barry was responsible for the death of their other brother who died of an overdose and drowning. And it's something I'm going to have to live with for the rest of my life. What does it mean that there's first responders right here, you know, in Ohio at home that are going down to help your, your hometown? It's just really good to know that people in this area, northern Kentucky, greater Cincinnati, it's just like they're going to load up and head down to help as many people as possible. That's why Ohio Task Force One is heading to Hazard. A lot of us come up as firefighters. That's what a lot of us, that's our day job. Um, and this is an extension of that, being on this team. Um, it's a very experienced um, group of individuals that are on this team that, that make this whole thing work. The team's focus is rescue. They say they will drop boats into flooded areas and go door to door, making sure everyone is out of flooded homes. Probably the worst day that they've had, and anybody that can come and help them is generally appreciated, uh, thanked. Uh, we get a lot of people who just, you know, are profound in their appreciation for what we do. Yeah, this is not the first time that 44 year old Anthony Johnson has landed behind bars. In fact, in 2013 and 2015, Johnson was convicted of burglary. Then in 2020, he was convicted of breaking and entering. Now he is behind bars once again facing similar charges. Every year, one of my favorite stories of the year is doing a, a Thanksgiving type story. And this is like one box of how many would you say? Oh, probably from cool. kids, from students, we've had Probably six different schools. Oh. Dear Officer Nay, thank you for everything you've done for us. We really appreciate it. Okay, so I asked for your suggestions, and one of the places what was the must go to spot in Buffalo was Anchor Bar, the home of the original right, chicken so. wing. Yes, they claim this is the original. We're going to find out. So let's go. The first thing to do is get a little history lesson on how the very first buffalo chicken wing was served. The kitchen was closed up for the day. In the back, all they had were the chicken wings that were left out for stock for soup the next day. So Teresa went back there, threw them in the, in the fryer, threw some frank hot sauce on them with a side of blue cheese, brought them out, and then the rest was history. It was now time for a piece of history to be served up on a plate. An anchor bar had plenty of national recognition to prove the legacy. That's really good. That is really good. That sauce is really good. And that crunch? Mm. Awesome. So good. She checked the radar, said it was heading straight for our house, so we decided that was when we needed to leave. They drove away from the storm and weren't harmed, but that hasn't been the case for some of their neighbors. 15 people in Bowling Green didn't make it out of their homes alive, and a few are still missing. You know, we are live here on the northern Kentucky side of the Ohio River because those two teenage boys are from Villa Hill, so just not too far from this area. The police and officials are not releasing the names of those two boys, but we do know that they are brothers, ages 14 and 18. Fireworks are done. 